Hi guys, um, today I'm just going to teach you how to um, think, turn an orange into an orange that is about to bite your head off. Uh, so here I go, all you just need to do is just to select both of them and drag them into Photoshop CS6. First thing you do is would you, I know what you are going to say, you're going to hate me for this. We have to use the pen tool. Um, so when you get the pen tool, you pretty much just have to select all around the mouth. Just select the mouth. Once you have selected to mouth, selected the mouth, um, you'll just drag the mouth into the orange, into the picture of the orange, and I'll show you what to do from there. So uh, maybe this will lighten up your day if you hate the pen tool that much. Um, okay, so what did the baby baby corn say to the mama corn? Where's popcorn? Uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, so yeah, pretty much just once you're finished with this, uh, just I'll tell you what to do from there. Okie dokie. Bye for now. Okay, so what we do now is we're going to have to double click the, the layer and turn it into a layer. And you go into the path and you will, s and then you'll right click it and select make selection. After that, you'll click OK and then Control Shift I and then delete. Once you have clicked delete, you will drag the, the picture of the tiger's mouth onto the orange. First thing you do is go into transform and then scale. And you shrink it down to as much or make it bigger, as big as you like. And it does not matter if the edge of the mouth will stick out of the orange because I'll show you what to do for that. And then you'll go, oh, you don't have to do this, but I personally like to rotate the the tiger's mouth to make it look more of a roar and now what you're going to do is you're going to um, go into layer and you're going to turn the orange into a layer double click it and click OK okay so now what we're going to do is go into the eraser and erase the part of the orange sticking out of the mouth and the only way this will work is if you have selected the layer, the layer that the orange is in. The, la the orange and the mouth have to be in separate layers. Uh, yeah, so whatever color it is, you just color it back in that color. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Once you have finished that, you will go into the, you will get the lasso tool. Once you've got the lasso tool, you will circle you will circle a part of the orange try not to get that much of the color on the outside of the orange and bring the bring the lasso as far as close as you can to the mouth and then you're going to transform and then click warp once you have done that there are this will this thing will come up and you just have to adjust it and you got to pull it back like what I am doing now to make sure that you will not be able to see anything except for the orange. So you just drag the orange onto the mouth and then you will go into deselect and voila. That looks pretty good but there's a bit of space, like a bit, bit of white but that doesn't really matter. If you, It doesn't really matter. You can do it again. It doesn't take that long. Now we're going to do the bottom. Pretty much the same thing, uh, exactly the same thing. But well, when you are doing the bottom, make sure that you do not touch the tongue or the teeth. This does not always have to be an orange, it can be anything you like. But orange, I believe that the orange would be more.
more for beginners and other things would be more for uh, upper people in f Photoshop. So after you've clicked enter, oh I'm sorry, to, uh, I forgot to mention that, you have to click enter once you've finished warping it. And now what you are going to do is you're going to um, slightly erase um, parts of the mouth. Try not to um, erase too much of the mouth like what I've just done. Um, but it does not really matter because you could oh, to uh, turn it back to what it was. You just have to click control control Z. But that is only once you have. Um, that's only for like a little tiny part. See, watch this. Watch what I do here. I just erase this whole thing right about now. I erase that whole thing, and then when I then I have to just click Control Z and the whole thing will come back just like that and yeah I hope uh, this has helped you a bit so like you can just adjust anything you like at this point it looks okay but you might just have a bit of white spots so yeah it looks alright so just you, you can scale it to whatever you like with it but the warping stuff is probably the main thing you'd have to do so yeah, thanks for watching my video, um, I'll be putting out more tutorials for Photoshop, uh, yeah that's all about it, actually, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you a joke, this joke is, 